Hey guys, welcome back to Victoria 3. And today I'm actually going to continue my Releasable Nation series. And I actually think I have a pretty interesting one to do today. So let's get into it. So, let's see. Yeah. Nope, Diplomacy. Release Subject. There's a ton of nations you can play as, um, or, or release, I mean, from uh, Austria here. I think today, I'm actually going to play as Venice here. Venice, obviously, is a pretty cool nation. You may know them from uh, E4. Let's actually see... Oh, dang it. I always forget to switch to them. So, we have already the 36th biggest um, GDP in the world. Our literacy is pretty good, starting out. Um, we're making money, of course. Yeah, this is a pretty interesting start already. I'm pretty sure we can from Italy. Yeah, we can. Let's see how many troops we have. Ten. It's gonna be an uphill battle. I'm sure that we can get something to work out, though. And since Austria is next to me, still, I'm actually gonna join the Customs Union. I don't see why I wouldn't. Okay, so immediately, since I have that ambitious AI mod started, um, I don't want the two Sicilies to like immediately form Italy. Cause, like they're super strong. While the Pope here isn't the strongest, and at the same time, it looks like Prussia will actually side with me in this. So I think I'm gonna actually pull out conquer the Pope. 20. I would say I can't actually sway him for whatever reason. That is really unfortunate. Um, where's Umbria? I'm gonna take this too. Okay, so two things. One, uh, Prussia's a liar. They said they would join and they didn't join at all. I don't know why that's even a thing available in the game. If it says that they may join, that should mean that they will join. Uh, I think that's BS. And two, there's no way we're going to be able to fight this with just Russia. Their troops suck. Austria's troops are OP compared to theirs. And they have Spain on their side, so immediately I'm backing down. It's only war reps, but still this hurts, you know. It's better than being a puppet to Austria, though. I don't know if I'm ever going to actually play as Lebanon, but their color is beautiful. Like this, I don't know, this really bright green color, it's really beautiful. Um, This wouldn't be fun to deal with, though. There's so many religions in Lebanon. And it looks like the Ottomans are in the process of actually dying here. They are definitely losing this. And it looks like they're not losing too much. They're get they're losing uh, Wallachia and Moldavia. And they're losing Bosnia. But otherwise, it's not really too bad. You know, I, I'd just give up if I was them. And welcome to the world, Bosnia. Alright, and I think I'm actually going to try to um, get a Venetian colony over here in uh, Galetti. I think I'm actually going to write out Conquer the State instead of making them a puppet. Because it's not like I have much land anyways. So, yeah. Alright, nice. Oh, didn't mean to press that. Now we have a nice little, uh, Somalian colony over here. Can someone explain to me how this state is isolated from mine? Let's see. Yeah, there's two ports. One there. One here. And it's isolated for no reason. It says it needs to be connected to a port. And it should be able to 
reach. I don't know why it's not. That's kind of dumb. So even though I conquered this, it basically does nothing for me because it can't actually reach back to my market. So, yeah, I don't know what to do. I might actually restart the game. And it looks like restarting the game did nothing. So that's great. That's, uh, I love wasting my time on things that don't work. So, yeah, that's perfect. Alright, so putting that failure behind, it looks like Tuscany, I can actually beat them. Austria says they'll join us. It was going to be like, um, Prussia here, where they say they will and they won't. They actually will. This is good. It's one step closer to actually forming Italy, so. Yeah, this is pretty good. Alright, and good stuff. Holy crap. Why is that so expensive? 151 bureaucracy for this is one state. And I'm losing so much money for some reason. Destruction goods? Yeah, I got another one. Other sectors. I think I'm actually going to get rid of this. Or maybe just bring it down. I guess we'll see, but like... Overall, this is a good game for us. Alright, and I'm also going to go for Har 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 R here. I'm going to puppet them. I have a decent amount of peasants I can deal with in Italy now, so I'm okay with just vassalizing them. So, good news is that we puppeted them. And the bad news is, is that our great friends here in Austria... Um, want to kill me for no reason at all. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to actually disable the ambitious AI mod whenever I'm doing releasables or reanimations because like this is just annoying. You know, at every step uh, when I tried to conquer the Pope, Austria intervened. When I tried to conquer this guy down here in the Horn of Africa which in reality Austria should have no interest in they intervene. You know, they're trying to puppet me. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to live through this, but, like, it still sucks. You know, I don't want to freaking fight them every single time. But, you know, there's nothing else I can really do besides try to win it, you know? We got out of that with the skin of our teeth. Um, I'm freaking annoyed at Austria at this point. Like, it's stupid. You know, you're supposed to be my protector, yet at every single try you protect harar over me like it just makes no sense and it looks like during that war austria actually kicked me out of their market so this means that i have to become a protector <laughs> i would be lying if i said that this is going the way i wanted it to we have no other choice you know austria is basically our economy so here we go all right i think it's actually time to start um, round two against the Pope. I think since we're a protector under Austria, they can't actually, um, you know, intervene on their side. Hopefully, it looks like we can actually call them in. I'm not. I'm not doing that. That's not something I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna let them pop at them. Let's see. Alright, and we expand quite a bit here. Alright, I guess we're about to see if um, Austria will join against us. It says that they may, but I don't, I really honestly don't know. Russia's not that big of a deal. If Austria joins, we're, we're going to have to uh, hold them off. So, let's see. Alright, and that was, a, that was a success. In the middle of that, it looks like Austria actually tried to make them a protectorate, which is exactly why I need these guys dead. 
because obviously I don't want to fight them. Oh, this guy's going to be terrible to fight. Holy crap. How is he that good at diplomacy, this Modena? Let's see, diplomacy. Oh my god, like that's... I hate that I have good relations with that guy. So, I'm probably going to actually sit for a little bit. Our infamy is pretty high. Let's see, can we conquer this guy? It looks like this guy will be a lot easier. It looks like Sardinia Piedmont will actually be pretty easy too. If these guys don't join, that is. But I guess we'll see when it comes to it at that point. So, so it's been a few years since I've cut you guys up. I've just been expanding my economy slowly but surely. We're about to break into the top 10, by the way. But the main thing I wanted to tell you guys about is that I'm actually going to try to puppet Greece here. It says that we'll face Modena. If we do, this is nothing, you know, this is a good thing, I mean. Since both Modena and Parma decided to become protectorates of Austria like I knew they would. So if they join wars, that means I'll just be able to take them out more easier. So, and plus we get a sweet new vassal out of Greece. So let's actually start doing this. Alright, so that actually worked. I wasn't even paying attention, I was actually building stuff. Because it was like going back and forth. So we actually conquered, uh, what's his name? That's Parma. That, um, we, we conquered, uh, Modena here. All we have to do really now is just sit and wait for this to end. I think the next thing that we're gonna do is probably try to puppet Sardinia Piedmont. Or the two Sicilies. That's really all we have left in options. I'd like to form Italy. But I'm not sure which one would actually be better. Because both these guys have tons of um, people who will actually join and fight for them. Alright, so now is as good of a time as any to puppet Sardinia Piedmont here. It says that um, Austria will side with us. I'm hoping that this will be enough. We actually beat them. I'm thinking of actually conquering Parma too while I'm at it. Let's see. Let's actually add the war goal to conquer Parma first. So let's add that. And then sway them. Because of I think when um we actually call them in, they'll be a, be the leader of the war. So let's see. Alright, and we finally got Sardinia Piedmont. I thought we were actually going to lose that since Austria is absolutely stupid. And they're being beaten by Revolutionary Krakow with four battalions. Um, we don't have Switzerland, by the way. Uh, the colors are just uh, similar. So if we wanted to form Italy, all we need is three more provinces. Which we can probably easily get from the two Sicilies now, since now they're actually separate from the rest of Italy. And they don't have like two fronts that they can use. Um, yeah, I think what I'm going to do next is uh, puppet... Uh, I, don't, I actually don't think I'd be able to puppet them. I'm probably going to conquer three provinces from them and, f and like be able to form Italy and then stop it there. Because I think it's a lot more fun to actually show that I'm Venice instead of showing, you know, generic Italy. So, All right. So I've been preparing to fair one the two Sicilies. We are stronger than them. We are stronger than them in military, like barely. Um, we are pretty good in economy. 
Venice is actually a pretty fun start. Um, we're good in uh, literacy, population. But let's actually start this. This is going to sting, by the way. All this infamy. Like, this province is the cheapest, and all the other ones are like 30. Infamy each. So I'm not going to conquer uh, the two Sicilies in their entire entirety. I'm just going to take three provinces and run because that's all we can really take so so that was oh my god I freaking hate the AI that was literally a war that we would win but instead, Austria decided, screw you, and you don't deserve it, and I hate you, and they screw me over. So now I have to wait another five years of nothing, because they can't handle their wars, right? And they're in freaking two wars for no reason. Oh my god. I guess I'll see you in five years then, I guess. You know what? Actually, I think I'm actually going to leave this here, because of... Of course, the infamy doesn't go away from that, even though I didn't get anything from that. Um, this game definitely isn't broken at all. Um, and plus, I can do this on another episode if you guys want to see it. You know, I would say that I've more than formed Venice's former glory here. I have all of Northern Italy, basically. Um, I have Greece. I have my colonies in uh, Ethiopia and Somalia. Um, we have the 8th biggest GDP in the world, and the 6th best uh, GDP per capita. We have really good literacy, which is good considering our population is pretty big. Um, sta uh, standard living, it's okay. I would like it to be in the top 10 though, but we're making a lot of money. Literally have nowhere else to spend this money besides um, construction centers. But yeah. Uh, if you guys want to see more videos like this, uh, just let me know. And thank you for watching.